Welcome to the vlog. Today we are going to answer the question, what gear can I get to become faster on a bike? So when I first started cycling, I was curious about how to become faster on the bike, like what kind of equipment I would need to get faster. And you know, YouTube is filled with so many experts telling you, you know, you gotta get a new group set, you gotta get an aero bike, smaller tires, carbon, anything. And so let's get this out of the way. Here's the short and quick answer to that question. If you wanna get something for your bike to make you faster, lighter, more aero equipment, will do the job, whatever it is. Generally speaking, something lighter, something more aero will make you faster. But unfortunately, it is not as simple as that. The truth is, while equipment can make a difference, the difference is tiny compared to an investment on your fitness. So you might be asking the question, so why are all these professional cyclists using the top of the line, best equipment possible? Why aren't they racing the Tour de France in, you know, old steel bikes if it doesn't make that much of a difference? Now, professional cyclists, when compared to regular people like you and me, we are leagues away compared to them. Now, my first real realization of this was Back then when I used to play a lot of basketball, I had a friend, he, he, he was a basketball player in the PBA. The PBA is the Philippine Basketball Association. It's the professional league here in the Philippines. And he so happened to be in Cebu and he wanted to get a game going. So I brought him to my weekly game. And then this was a game that was filled with players that could play. It was hard to win, hard to play every night. And it was really competitive. But the big difference was none of us were professional basketball players. So when my friend, who was a bench player in the PBA, he joined our game and he was better in every conceivable way. He was more fit. He was faster. He had better skills than everybody. He was in a totally different league compared to everybody else. And that is true for every professional athlete in whatever sport. They are a different breed of human. But once you reach that level, the difference between competitive cyclists, especially like guys who are in the Tour de France, is really small. Now, I don't memorize some of the stats, but let me look at it for a sec. The winner of the Tour de France had a winning margin of about 19 minutes over the guy who came in number 10. So that's after thousands of kilometers, after thousands of meters climbed, after 83 hours of racing, the difference was only 19 minutes. Now, if you do the math, 19 minutes is less than 1% of 83 hours. So the difference between number one and number 10 in the Tour de France was less than 1% when the difference between competitive cyclists are so small, that's where gear can make a difference. But for regular people like you and me, gear can be a never-ending black hole. Now don't get me wrong, getting good gear is a lot of fun and can be truly satisfying. But if you wanna become faster, gear is not the first place you should look at. Uh, the truth is, if you wanna go faster, bike. Bike a lot. There is nothing that can beat effort. The other thing is you probably get a coach. A coach will teach you how to become faster, how to become fitter, and can, can make a training plan just for you. That is probably the most efficient way to get faster, get a coach. And the other thing is, you know, eat right, eat well, lay off the junk food, lay off the bad food, that'll help you as well. But if you want a shiny new toy, a carbon wheel set, maybe even a new frame or a new group set, don't buy it because you have this fantasy of becoming faster or slightly faster. Buy it because, you know, bikes are fun. Bikes are fun. And a big part of that fun is getting like nice shiny new equipment for your bike or getting a nice shiny new bike. Man, I would love to get a nice shiny new bike. Anyway, no boring days, please subscribe.